Assalamu alaikum, my beautiful brothers and sisters. I'm making this video. I basically want to talk about is it okay for sisters to wear heels, makeup, weave, to dye our hair? But basically, is it okay for us to beautify ourselves? Um, there are younger Muslims prefer to wear makeup and bright colors and heels and I even see older Muslim women who wear makeup some Muslim women wear acrylic nails and paint over them even when they're not on their cycle and so I'm just going to talk a little bit about are these things appropriate for a Muslima so I always throw in personal opinion but in this video I'm going to try to balance it out more with more of what the Quran says or hadiths. I don't like quoting hadiths because hadiths is a science and I'm not an expert. I have not gone to school. I don't like using them because people use them and make blanket statements in situations that don't even apply to the hadith it's actually very dangerous if you don't know the history behind it um, what you're saying so I, I'm kinda straying away from that I'm just trying to stick more to the Quran don't really want to go into any hadiths and if I do um, I'm going to go to the masjid and find out what is weak and just to make sure that I'm not quoting anything crazy um, I probably won't quote because it's just it's a little bit dangerous <laughs> I prefer not to quote my personal opinion is I don't see a problem with a Muslima wearing bright colors or some makeup or even heels as long as she's not wearing those four inch platform stripper pole heels then I don't see any problems with wearing heels um, we are allowed to show our toes so I don't see what the issue is but that's just how I feel personally I love seeing beautiful beaded hijabs and and just bright colors and yes sisters dye their hair and they get their eyebrows plucked I mean we are women and women naturally tend to want to keep themselves up it's just part of our nature um, there are sisters who perm their hair there's sisters who dye their hair and, and in Islam one thing I do know is that there are sins that are greater than the other and also your intentions are what is very important are you wearing these heels to attract men are you wearing them because you just saw some really nice heels that you really wanted to wear are you wearing makeup to attract men or are you just wearing it because you really love this color on your face you know I mean there's all types of reasons um, if your intentions are impure then you may want to put down the makeup the heels blah 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 but the thing that's amazing is that I don't know your intentions you could tell me that oh I'm just wearing it because I felt like it but in the back of your head you're saying to yourself oh I'm wearing it because I want to attract somebody I don't know I mean Allah knows best you know I don't know and I'm not here to judge and so I just think that there's certain Muslims who come on YouTube and they're commenting on people's videos oh Stafullah sister you have music Stafullah sister you're wearing makeup Stafullah sister you're showing your ears I mean it's like a list of I mean come on so you're gonna burn in hell because your ears are showing I'm like people ugh, grow up you know sometimes you just like are you serious oh sister you shouldn't be listening to music when there's actually a big debate if you should or if you shouldn't so right now it's sort of there's no exact answer so 
if you want to listen to music which a lot of Muslims do I think most Muslims do listen to music um, so it, sometimes it, it can just get a little bit too crazy so basically I went to the Quran and I also went to a few Islamic websites and you have to sort of be careful on what sites you're going on because they may not exactly be Sunni it may be Shiite it may be Sophi but um, on makeup um, many people felt not felt but advised that if you feel you have to wear makeup then you should wear it within your home and if you have some type of facial disfigurement then and you have to wear concealer or some type of makeup then it was okay but um, it seems like wearing makeup is a form of adornment it's a form of beautification and it basically attracts attention and those were the rulings on that um, of course they brought up hadiths and um, how the prophet um, told his sister who was wearing tight and revealing clothing that the only thing that should show is her hands and her face and they also mentioned um, let them not stump their feet so as to reveal what they hide of their adornments um, women back then they used to wear um, anklets and they used to ding 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 to attract attention by stumping the, their feet um, the practice was actually forbidden um, it was basically a distraction and catching the attention of the opposite sex and as we all know modesty within Islam is very important so I guess that would also apply to a female wearing high heels and she has a stank walk and for those who don't know what a stank walk is a stank walk is like a very sexual walk it's like you know she's just even though she's very covered she has a very sexy walk that attracts attention um, that's forbidden and it's not necessarily the heels that are forbidden it's how you walk in those heels and the attention that you may attract um, I have a funny story to tell I was at the masjid two months ago and it was for Juma and this Nakabi sister came because I was standing outside I was actually standing outside of the masjid and it was actually two Nakabi sisters one had on flats like sandals and one had on these really sexy I actually thought that the heels were very cute but the, <laughs> but she was walking in them and of course you know all you could see was her her eyes but the crazy part about it was how she was walking it was like swoosh 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 like she had a little you know stank walk a little like I'm here look at me and you know um, Allah knows best we don't really know her intentions maybe that's how she walks in heels but that walk was very distracting because I was watching and I hate to say it the other men were watching too so <laughs> of course you know her friends seemed to probably notice because her eyes were kinda going all, all over the place because she probably felt that the sister's heels were probably a little bit too high but I just thought that was funny because you can still be covered but still be uncovered by how you carry yourself <clears throat> so that's what I'm seeing and um, and
and I'm about to stop this and start on something else because I just ran out of ideas. 